Welcome to this overview video on locations in InfoPlus. You should already have the structure of your warehouse completed for the locations you're ready to build. This means having the necessary buildings, zones, and or aisles created where locations will exist. See the separate video series on structuring your warehouse for instructions on creating buildings, zones, and aisles if you need help. In this video, we'll use this warehouse as our example. This is the same warehouse used to create your test site. A full resolution version of this diagram is available in the knowledge base. For this warehouse, we have already created the zones and aisles in InfoPlus. Here's the zone table where we've created the cold room storage and forward zones that match the sections here on our diagram. And here's the aisle table showing the nine aisles that are also represented on the diagram. We now need to create the individual locations. Before you can create a location record, you need to create location footprints and location billing types. We refer to these as location attributes. The location footprint represents the physical space available for product in a location, such as this 50 by 60 by 50 pallet. Here's a live picture of what an aisle in this warehouse might look like. There are three levels on either side of the aisle, and pallets hold the product in each level. The other location attribute is the location billing type. The location billing type can be used to assign a cost to storage of an item, for example, to bill by square foot. If you do not need to assign a cost to storage, use a no-charge billing type. A no-charge billing type record will be created by default. You can create additional billing types as needed. A location footprint and a billing type are required to be able to create locations. But in addition, if you plan to create locations using the Location Builder, which lets you create multiple locations at once, you'll need an address scheme. An address scheme tells InfoPlus how to address your warehouse locations. For example, if you want your location labels to look like this, with 101 being the aisle, 001 being the individual location, and A being the level, the address scheme format would look like this in InfoPlus. The bracketed sections are called tokens, which are placeholders for information in InfoPlus. This scheme tells InfoPlus to display the location address with the aisle number, a dash, then the location number, and finally the level. That was an overview of what you need to create locations in InfoPlus. See the Warehouse Setup section in the Knowledge Base for step-by-step -step instructions on creating location footprints, billing types, address schemes, and the actual locations. Thank you.